Um, you've obviously worked in some of the very best restaurants in the world, without any exaggeration. And now you're here in Orlando, Florida, the heart of tourist territory. How did that come around? Oh my gosh, I mean, one, I, you know, uh, opportunity presents itself, and to me, a great restaurant can be anywhere. And, um, you know, I think, you know, what I really want for Flamingos to be is, you know, not a tourist destination. I think that's so important to me as a, a real operating chef. Uh, and I bet you every chef in this city doesn't want to really be known as just the touristy sort of restaurant. Um, so I think that's a little bit of an extra sort of chip on my shoulder and the team's shoulder to make sure that we're producing uh, cuisine and an experience that's not just good for a city that, that, uh, that does have a lot of tourism, but one that's just a good restaurant regardless of where it's placed. And, and can you sort of talk us through some of those key menu items because it's clear yeah. you there's an awful lot going into to this uh, menu there is I mean to me it's a, it's a lot of things that just remind me of my personal experiences and my family experiences in Florida obviously every chef needs to focus on the ingredients that grow near the restaurant uh, our farmers that are you know within a hundred miles 200 miles the coast of Florida uh, and then here the general theme I, I like to sort of put a bubble around the uh, the geography. So the U.S. South, obviously the cuisine of Florida itself, the Caribbean, Central and South America. That's our general framework that we play in. Uh, and I love all of those flavors. So for me, it's one of my most exciting restaurants because these are the type of flavors when I go out to eat that I'm looking for and finally I'm getting the opportunity to produce them. And this uh, hotel has been here now for more than 30 years and is, is one of sort of Orlando's real deluxe institutions. What did you know about it coming into the, you know, into this environment? I, yeah, I did not know much about it. I did, you know, do the research. I think it's something like uh, the third tallest building in Orlando. Like, that's a fun fact. You'll have to quote. Well, I don't know if it's actually the third tallest building, but it's something like that. It should be. Uh, and, I, and again, I always, I love history. I mean, one of the things that I love about uh, working with, with Hyatt, too, is just sort of absorbing and embracing all of that history. It might be the building itself, like you're talking about, the history of maybe the previous restaurant here, or even some of the staff who have been working here for 20, 25 years. Like in this industry, that's such an accomplishment. Uh, so I love the idea of coming into a place that has this uh, established reputation. All right, guys, this is one of our really fun um, cold plates that we're offering on the menu right now. It's going to be a, a Florida red snapper ceviche, lightly cure it and brush it with an ahi vinaigrette. And then it's just over a nice fresh agua chile made with fresh key lime juice and a um, little bit of pickled watermelon radish, pickled green papaya, finish it off with a little bit of freeze-dried lime juice, and then the piece de la resistance, a little bit of table-side service. We're going to be serving it with a scented smoke bubble. Um, I'm sure you guys, if you haven't seen yet at the bar, you'll be seeing it later. We're really loving this smoke gun. Um, fun little tool you can um, we have different flavors that we're working with that pair really nicely with the dish itself so in this one we're just doing a nice citrus blend uh, so nice citrus oil and so the dish itself comes out as such a nice clean one a splash on that one here we go all right dish comes out as such server comes by and we do the scent bubble. And then it allows the guests to pop. <laughs> they get that aroma, the flavor hits before they even take bites. Right? Uh, one of my, my personal favorites, and I hate to say this because then it becomes like something that everyone has to try, uh, is you know, being that we are a, uh, uh, we're saying we're a vintage Florida restaurant, my grandmother, uh, well, my wife's grandmother, my, my grand grandmother-in-law, yeah, yeah. okay, uh, love coconut shrimp. And like, this is one of those things where I'm sure every Florida chef is so over <laughs> having to do something that has coconut shrimp on it. We wanted to uh, re-envision it a little bit, so we decided we would do a coconut shrimp toast. 
Um, so that's what you have here. It's uh, coconut shrimp uh, with, with, some, with some bread and then, of course, some, some spicy chili. Uh, and then a version of uh, Kong fritter, but it's uh, actually one of Shelby's. Uh, it's a really, really fantastic dish. You want to talk about the, the Kong? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, Kong fritter, it, it's actually a Kong Kosh puppy. Uh, just uh, like, like Chef probably explained to you. Uh, the whole concept here, we're pulling from Florida, we're pulling from the South, we're pulling from Caribbean, South Central America, yeah, really having a nice meld of, of what it means to be Florida, because it's a pretty open-ended question, right? Um, so, in one of our more odes to the South, we have the conch hush puppy. That is a really nice quality hush puppy, full of fresh Florida conch meat, a little bit of a, um, a Jamaican curry aioli on the bottom. Classic, simple quality, right?